Sarnok. What can I tell you? It is a little town where my father was born. The southernmost tip of Galicia, where the creme de la creme of Jewish culture and Yiddishkeit flourished for a thousand years. Kings and princes fought for this little parcel of land, and in the midst of changing from Russian to Polish to Austro-Hungarian to Ukrainian domination, there existed this quirky little band of Jews made up of Misnagdim and Hasidim. Somehow, they got along together. They followed their traditions, worshipped God with a fervor, they got married and had babies. Until the pogroms came, Cossacks, and then the Holocaust of the Nazis. My father's people of the Carpathian Mountains were God-fearing people. In 1920, my grandfather made a decision to leave Little Sanok and go to Antwerp so that his family would have a chance to continue to make babies. Antwerp worked out for them for a while and then they moved to Brussels and my father became enamored of the Cantorot because of his innate talent as a singer and as a musician. Mostly, he had a beautiful voice. By the time he was 30, he had sung in every major synagogue in Europe and had even received special dispensation to sing at the Great Synagogue of Paris because he was not yet married and stayed with Baron Rothschild for Shabbos. My father traveled to London to meet my mother Rachel for an arranged marriage. They were both related to the Hasidic dynasties of Europe. They were married for 56 years. The Satma, the Gera, and the Primishlana were on both sides. World War II broke out and somehow my papa's family got word to my father not to return to continental Europe because the Nazis had overthrown that part of the world. My father became first cantor of the United Kingdom and all through this time my father stood his ground and through the hell of war, the Battle of Britain and the Blitz and somehow my parents managed to raise three kids with no food and the realization that his entire family had been wiped out only 40 kilometers away across the English Channel. I recall my father crying in his study alone asking God why didn't you take me? So when I recall my father's life and how much he meant to me and how I followed in his footsteps, this painting is a tribute to my father and the life he led and the embodiment of all that wonderful culture of that part of the world and of our people. My painting represents a time of happiness and mirth tradition and of Yirat Shramayim, of marriages and babies and hope for the future.